Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to be looking at Microsoft Planner. So those of you who use Office 365, if you click on your little boxes, you'll find that Planner is located just there. So last week we looked at Trello and if you're familiar with Trello, then you'll find Planner is a very similar sort of format. So what we can do across the top is add buckets and then having got our buckets, we can add tasks to those buckets. So let's add a bucket and you just put in the name of the bucket and then having added a bucket we can add a task and you just again put in the title of the task and then having done that we can click on it we could assign it to people so you can add your team members you can also add a label so we've got activities there it could be Having done that, we can update the status. We can have a start date and an end date. So let's add a start date of tomorrow and an end date of the 13th. We can put in a description. We can add some tasks. We could add an attachment from a file, a link, or point to a SharePoint site. And if we tick the boxes, we can get the description and the to-do list uh, and the checklist um, to appear on the card itself. We can add comments. Um, what you can also do is you can move your tasks from one list to another. you can see conversations are going on you can look at members look at the files attached um, if you click on to charts you can see the activity in relation to the various tasks that you're doing if you click on to schedule you can see where the deadlines are for the team coming up so there you have it it's also possible to use the filter function to filter just on a specific label or things to do with that need to be done today, this week, next week, or in the future. So I think it had a number of really useful functions. I think you could, a great way of planning a team's workload and making sure everyone's clear on what projects they've got coming forward. For teachers in the classroom, I think a live scheme of learning. If you're co-teaching with a colleague, you could have your weeks across the top in your buckets your labels will be your activities that happen in the lesson and then if you don't get an activity finished within the lesson you can move it along you can just move it from week to week and then within the added detail you can put a greater description you can have the breakdown of the specific tasks within the activity and a link to the resources so i think there's lots of ways you could use this with your students uh, it could be also used in a practical lesson if you've got them each doing a particular activity or a number of activities within one lesson, you could have your activities across the top and then your students' names and then you could use it to move them across as they complete the activities. So there you have it, Microsoft Planner, a really flexible tool for organising teams, either organising your teaching team, your scheme of learning or tracking your students during a practical lesson. If you like the video, please share it and remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon. Thanks for watching.